Hey everybody, what's going on? This is Sam with Historic Travels and welcome back to another video. And as always, before we get started today, I'd just like to take a quick moment to welcome all my new subscribers and to thank everybody who's leaving me comments and messages down below. Thank you guys, your ideas and comments are amazing. And if you're new here, smash that like button and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys, it really, really helps out a lot. Okay, so this video is a little different. It's just gonna be a short little mini video, but today is actually a very, very special day. One of my other passions is the space program. I'm very, very interested in the space program. I've been following it for a long time. And today is a special day for NASA and the whole space community. Today, NASA is landing their new rover, Perseverance, on the surface of Mars. And you see, this is a very big deal. You see, Mars is so far away that it takes a very long time for a spacecraft when launched from Earth to get to Mars. Perseverance was launched back in July, and it is just now, on February 18th, approaching the Red Planet. And you see, that incredible distance the rover had to travel, they can only attempt this once every two years. So you see, even though it took this rover seven to eight months to go from Earth to Mars, that's under perfect circumstances. That's when Earth and Mars's orbits actually are the closest to each other. You see, Earth and Mars orbit the sun at different speeds. So there are times when Earth and Mars's distance is so much greater than what the rover is just now doing. You see, if Earth and Mars are at their furthest points from each other, you can't launch a spacecraft. The only time Earth and Mars' orbits line up to the point where you can actually attempt a mission is about every two years or so. So that's what NASA did in July. They launched this rover then, and it is just now approaching the red planet. Now, where this window is so limited, NASA wanted to put as much scientific experiments on this rover as possible. So this rover is very large, roughly about the size of a car. So that means they had to come up with an ingenious new method in order to get this rover safely from space to the surface of Mars. Perseverance will make its final approach to Mars, traveling at roughly 12,500 miles per hour. And when the spacecraft hits the Martian atmosphere traveling at this speed, it will cause the spacecraft to glow and burn red hot, similar to the surface of the sun. Now, once Perseverance clears this first hurdle, it's traveling much slower, but nowhere near the speed we need to make a successful landing. So at this point, a massive parachute is deployed. This parachute will slow the spacecraft down to roughly 1,000 miles per hour or so, give or take. Better, but nowhere near the speed we need to make a successful landing. So at this point, the spacecraft attaches its heat shield, and using onboard tracking, it is able to look for giant uh, boulders and items on the surface of Mars that could pose a danger to the spacecraft. At this point, the lander is deployed. This lander will guide Perseverance the rest of the way down to the surface of Mars. Now, this lander alone cannot take the rover all the way down to the surface, otherwise the engines could blow up dust and debris, damaging the rover. So it uses a giant sky crane to successfully touch the rover down on the surface, and then the lander shoots away. That way, when the engines shut off, it doesn't fall on the rover and damage it. You see, NASA has called this series of events that the rover has to do to land on Mars the seven minutes of terror, because it takes approximately seven minutes from the rover to touch the Martian atmosphere to the moment the rover is successfully on the surface of Mars. So that's an incredibly stressful seven minutes. And what makes this even worse is Earth and Mars are way too far away from each other for someone on Earth to have direct control of the rover and be able to monitor it live. You see, it takes a signal from Mars about 10, 11 minutes to get from Mars to Earth. So that means after the rover is actually on the surface and landed, we won't know about it for another 10 minutes. So because of this limitation of, you know, we can't talk to the rover, the rover has to perform all of these maneuvers to land successfully on its own using onboard computers. So it is an incredibly stressful 10, 15 minutes or so for the people at NASA waiting to see if their rover is on the surface of Mars or if it has crash landed. Anyway guys, that's it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. Now, if you're watching this video when it came up, February 18th, the Mars rover is due to land in just a couple of hours. At 3.55 p.m. Eastern Standard Time is when the rover is due to successfully land on Mars. And I'll post a link down below if you wanna watch NASA's official YouTube channel and watch the events as they happen live. I'm gonna be watching them, I'm sending them my prayers, and I'm hoping for a successful landing today. It's a very, very exciting day, very, very big event, so I wish them all success in the world. All right, everybody, well, hey, if you're new here, smash that like button, and please subscribe to my channel. It really, really helps out a lot. Okay, everybody, well, hey, you stay safe out there, and I'll see you all in the next one.